How long do you last in bed? Is it four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, or maybe even 30 seconds? Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually showcase a particular herbal supplement that may help with premature ejaculation. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So in today's video, we are going to be focusing in on premature ejaculation, which is extremely common. And it's a complaint that I hear a lot about in my Instagram DMs on my YouTube channel here. We get lots of comments about how to delay ejaculation, how to last longer in bed. And so what I wanna do is actually describe premature ejaculation. So premature ejaculation can absolutely be a frustrating and distressing condition for men, impacting both their sexual and emotional well-being. Now, here are some of the main reasons why premature ej ejaculation is considered completely annoying and frustrating. So number one is the impact on sexual satisfaction. So obviously, premature ejaculation leads to a shorter duration of sexual activity, reducing overall satisfaction for both partners. It may prevent couples from fully enjoying and exploring their intimacy. Number two is the relationship strain. Now, persistent premature ejaculation can contribute to relationship stress and strain. Partners may feel unfulfilled or unsatisfied, leading to communication issues and potential emotional distance. Again, if you want to actually share your experience, this is going to be for those who are brave and courageous. If they have stories about this, share it down below in the comment section because opening up and you know having a platform to share this information and share your experience can actually help men to talk about it more and seek help. Number three is the decrease in self-esteem. So men experiencing premature ejaculation may actually feel a blow to their self-esteem and masculinity. The inability to control ejaculation can lead to feelings of inadequacy and also embarrassment. And then performance anxiety, the fear of ejaculating too quickly, particularly on a first date, can actually create anxiety leading to a self-fulfilling cycle where anxiety exacerbates the issue. And that actually can make the problem more challenging to overcome. Overcome, no pun intended there. All right, so here's what not to do. And the reason why I say do not do this is because until you investigate the risks associated with this particular drug, you need to just pay attention to this. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors for premature ejaculation in men. Whilst they do have some merit and some benefit in delaying ejaculation in men, they are associated with a range of nasty side effects that can even occur when you stop taking the drug itself. And these are things like anhedonia, blunted pleasure response, reduced motivation, increased fat gain, reduced metabolism. And so what I wanna share is a specific herb known as burdock root. Now, burdock root is scientifically known as Arctium lapa. It's a versatile and nutritious root vegetable that has been used for centuries in traditional medicine and culinary practices. Now, this plant is native to Europe and Asia, but is now found in various parts of the world. Now, the root of burdock plant is the most commonly utilized part and is valued for its potential health benefits. It is rich in essential nutrients, including fiber, vitamins such as B6 and vitamin E, and minerals like iron, manganese, and magnesium. Now, burdock root is also known for its potential anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. So when I studied naturopathy, you know, I spent four years studying herbal medicine and nutritional science. We learned about burdock root in the context of detoxifying the body. Now, burdock root was used to help with the lymphatic system, but of course, you know me, I was in class looking up herbs and I was wondering how they affect hormones, how they affect neurotransmitters. And I remember reading that burdock root had an effect on the ejaculatory response in male rats. And of course, I tried it myself and I noticed that it did delay ejaculation. So in traditional Chinese medicine, burdock root has been used to address various health issues, including skin conditions, digestive problems, and arthritis. So here's the exact study that I looked at, and it actually elucidated what I noticed 
in my experimentation. So the study was titled Effective Aqueous Extract of Arctium Lapa or Burdock Roots on the Sexual Behavior of Male Rats. Now they said oral administration of Arctium Lapa Roots extracts at 600 and 1200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight significantly increase the frequencies of mount intromission and ejaculation frequency. Now the latencies of mounds and intromission were significantly reduced and ejaculation latency was prolonged. Administration of the extract also reduced the post ejaculatory interval, which means that it lowers prolactin and the standard drug Viagra was more effective than the extract. No surprise there, really. The extract significantly increased the frequencies of all components of penile reflexes, as well as serum testosterone levels compared with distilled water controls. The results of this study demonstrate that aqueous extract of Arctium lapa roots enhances sexual behavior in male rats. The aphrodisiac effects of the plant extract may be related to the presence of flavonoids, saponins, lignans, and alkaloids acting via a multitude of central and peripheral mechanisms. These results thus support the traditional use of Arctium lapa root for treating impotence and sterility. So in terms of mechanism of action, if Modern medicine is using selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors to delay ejaculation. If they're using SSRIs to delay ejaculation, that clearly means that serotonin has a delaying effect on the ejaculation response. So the higher the serotonin generally, the longer it'll take to ejaculate. In terms of the peripheral mechanisms, maybe some of the alkaloids or saponins in the herb itself have an effect on the ejaculatory reflexes peripherally and not actually in the brain. We just need to remember that a lot of the sexual arousal and ejaculation and all that sort of stuff relating to sexual performance does come back to neurotransmitters and the brain. So specifically, you know, dopamine, histamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, you know, GABA, glutamate, these neurotransmitters can actually play a role in the ejaculatory response. Now, another study said that according to our results, the hydroalcoholic extract of Arctium lapa root may have anti-infertility effects by increasing sperm count and serum gonadotropin and testosterone levels of non-diabetic mice. Hence, this part of Arctium lapa may have more effects on the health of the reproductive system with respect to diabetes. And so this other study was pretty interesting. It's a side note, not really relevant to premature ejaculation, but it was titled Exercise Training and Burdock Root Extract Independently Improve Abdominal Obesity and Sex Hormones in Elderly Women with Metabolic Syndrome. So obviously this is a study in women, but it's still pretty interesting to see that they noted that a specific component arctin, which is found in burdock root, has been found to reduce body weight and fat tissue through anti-adipogenic effects by activating the adenosine monophosphate kinase activated protein pathway. So this is the same pathway that metformin activates, fasting activates, and so maybe burdock root could be considered a fasting mimetic. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, premature ejaculation and burdock root. Please share your experience down below have you ever used burdock root? Try it yourself and see if you notice a difference. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for listening in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.